got something pretty cool to show you guys today. This is what I am calling the Starlink Emergency Backup Kit. This is my kind of first project with the Starlink Mini, and it's relevant for a lot of reasons. Let's just jump right into it. Let me show you what's in the box. Okay, so you open it up, and right away you notice, obviously, the Starlink Mini. This is an amazing dish. It's super versatile because it's not only small and lightweight, but it can also be powered off of a battery, directly off of DC. And that brings me to the second thing in the kit, which is, I think, the key here, which is this Anchor Prime 20,000 milliamp hour power bank. Now this is uh, this is your typical uh, power bank that people use to like recharge phones and laptops, and since the mini uses less than 60 watts and can be powered anywhere from 12 to 48 volts through the DC port, this is perfect. This works for it. Um, this Anchor power bank has two USB-C ports. Both of these are capable of the correct output supply for the mini that the mini requires. So this is 20 volts at a maximum of a five amps. So each USB-C port can output up to hundred watts. The mini only needs about 50. Uh, I think the, the max usage for the mini is about 60 watts. Typically it only uses between 20 and 40 watts though. So this also has a USB-A output port by the way, these USB-C ports are both in, in and out, so you can charge or you can charge the power bank with these ports or output to devices. And then the last component that we have here, besides the case, which I'll get to, is this adapter cable. So if you're aware, if you're familiar with the Mini, you know that it comes with that wall adapter and then a 50-foot DC power cable that plugs into this jack right here. Well, in order to power off of this power bank, we need USB-C. So this cable is, that I found on Amazon, the link will be, the link by the way to all this stuff will be in the description below. I found this adapter cable. It goes from the DC power plug that's compatible with the Starlink Mini to USB-C. This by the way is uh, DC5521. That is the specification that's the size you need to work with the Starlink Mini. You can see it's got the port right here. So this is the kit. I've got it nicely contained in this case, which is the Pelican, oh, let me get this here, Pelican 1470. This is probably the smallest case that would fit the Mini and you know a couple of the required accessories. That's why I picked this case. It's super small. I didn't actually have to cut any of the foam either. So it comes with two different sizes of foam for the bottom. And I, I chose the thicker one. And then this is this comes in the top as well. So I didn't modify to this at all. And the way this works is you just throw it in there, power bank included, and this foam compresses enough that when I shut it, everything just neatly fits in there, doesn't rattle around, doesn't shake around. So this case is super tough. Um, it's got locking, locking latches. It's got a nice carrying handle. So this case is super awesome. I love the Pelican 1470. And again, found it on Amazon. Link will be in the description below. Anyway, what is this? Why did I create this? Well. My idea for the Starlink Emergency Backup Kit was just as kind of an emergency internet supply for emergency communications. So let me give you a, a real world example. Let's say you're um, off-roading in your you know, 4x4 on a remote 4x4 trail somewhere out in the wilderness. You have a mechanical failure, you're broken down, you're out of cell phone range. Good thing you have this kit tucked away in your, in your rig somewhere. You break this out, it's got the power supply ready to go. You just plug it in within five or 10 minutes. You've got fast internet. You can call for help. That's the kind of thing this is for. This is not for allowing you to stream movies for three days during a power outage or something like that. 
Um, this is just something that you, you have in your possession, whether it's in your vehicle or stored in your basement or whatever. This is just something you hope you never need to use, but when you do need it, when you need those critical communication lines open, this is available to help you out. So that, that was kind of the point the goal of this uh, emergency kit, as I'm calling it. But really, and why I made this video, this kind of demonstrates the different ways of powering the Starlink Mini. So this is not, you know, the end all kit. This is kind of like what you could use for inspiration to build your own kit to be able to have what you need in it. So let me just show, show off how this works. So you've got your cable, your adapter cable here. This just plugs right into Starlink Mini's power port. You'd set it ideally somewhere with open, open sky, open view. And then all you do is plug in the USB-C and this anchor power supply, you're probably not gonna be able to see that. This anchor power supply powers right on, no need to do anything else, and we're already, we're already on here. We're already using 40 volts. So this mini will start up, it takes uh, anywhere between five and 15 minutes to fully boot up and connect to the satellites. It's faster if you have a completely open view of the sky. This is, like I mentioned, a 20,000 milliamp capacity power bank. If we assume that the mini uses around 30 watts on average, this power bank has enough battery life to power the mini for three or four hours. I, I would say between three and five hours, depending on what kind of activities you're doing with the mini. And that's enough. You know, if you're intermittently using it just to shoot some texts out or check the weather forecast or something during a storm when you have no other communication lines open, you could probably get by with this for a few days. You know, if you're just intermittently checking in with friends and family and things like that. Um, I, this is incredible. I mean, look how small this battery pack is. Look how small the mini is. It all fits in this nice case and you've got three to five hours of, of high speed internet just from this, this power bank. By the way, this can fit on an airplane. You can carry this on. This battery pack is TSA approved for carry on. And with this case and everything, it makes it super portable, super convenient. So like I'd said, this is not the, the end all, you know, solution for everybody. Uh, I just wanted to show you this, just to give you an idea of, of what you could do with your own Starlink Mini. And I'd love to see what you guys come up with. So post those ideas in the comments below. What can you see yourself doing with a kit like this? Do you have anything, any ideas, what I could do better, what I could add? Um, I really like this, this uh, power bank idea. Like it, you know, if you would have told me four years ago that I could have high speed, low latency internet virtually anywhere on the globe, powered by a little power brick like this, I, I would have thought you were crazy. But here we are in 2024, and that's, that's a possibility with the Starlink Mini. So uh, thank you for watching. Like I said, talk to me in the comments below. What do you like? What do you not like about this kit? What are your suggestions and feedback? Um, and we'll see you in the next video.